Welcome back to Knights HQ Podcast, the official podcast of the NOB Newcastle Knights. I'm your host, Jay Nelson, and with me as always, Matthew Croker. Good to be back, JJ. We've got a good guest today. Man, one of the uh, greats. One of my favourites. He's a, he's a really good lad. He's come to the club and just made a huge impact. He's our Pommy Import, my man, Kai Pierce Paul. How you going, Kai? <laughs> yeah, yeah clap him in. Great call. Applause. Great call. How are you, my boy? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm real good today. Uh, feeling pretty fresh and yeah. And officially, it. night three, four, six. Yes. Yes, he That's made fun. his debut in round one against the Raiders. How was it? And uh, what did you think of the NRL, mate? Yeah, it was a pretty mad feeling, especially sort of the atmosphere as well. Um, to have like a, I think a near or even a sellout as, yep. a, as your first match of NRL was pretty crazy. And having your mum and brother there in the crowd as well, was just, you know, it was, a, it was an unreal feeling, a bit sort of surreal. I remember running out of the tunnel and sort of going to the bench and just sort of looking around like, yep. oh my God, this is just like, it was a lot of once, you know what I mean? But it was a, yeah, a crazy atmosphere and it was sort of the perfect way to, to get a taster into how the sort of NRL is going to be and how it's going to be a night. We'll talk about your mum and that coming over a little bit later, but yeah. before we get into things now, people might not know a whole heap about you. You come from England, you played for Wingard. Um, so we're just going to do a little bit of a get to know you. Feel free to elaborate on these questions. We used to do it last year with a couple yeah. of our guests. So I'll start off the last TV show you watched. Last TV show I watched? Probably Family Guy. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fair one, enough. It's it's stable. Yeah, it's one of the ones there. It just ticks over, and then yeah, it's just yeah, late, yeah. late at night. It's Family Guy is the last thing I end up watching. So, yeah, and no, I like a bit of Family Guy. It's good, eh? It's just brain numbing. You just yeah. leave it on. Yeah. Background noise for me. Yeah. Uh, favorite movie? I am Legend. Will Smith. Okay. Really yeah, nice yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Favorite really actor, favorite actor as well. Zombie apocalypse okay. type operator. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's got, it's got <laughs> All right. Place in my heart. That film. I don't know why. But, um, yeah. Highlight of your career so far. Highlight of my career. I guess there's two sort of stages, really. There's is it this podcast? <laughs> yeah. Like where do we, <laughs> where do we aim up? I was going to get on to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's the second part. <laughs> yeah, um, no, obviously, number one would probably be, you know, obviously becoming the night the other day or yep. signing for the Knights in general. That's sort of something where, as a kid, uh, something I always wanted to achieve. And, um, yeah, it, it happened. So that was pretty amazing. And secondly, it would probably be over in England to be winning the grand final. Yeah, of course. Was, of course. That was pretty big and it was something that sort of, you know, after four years of, of playing for the club to, to go out like that was pretty, yeah. was a pretty special thing for me. Of course, mate. Of course. All right. What about this? Your, your go to artist before you play or like before you run out? Ooh. It'd have to be something grime, surely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, that's a very good question. It'd probably be. I've got a good fun fact after this, after he answers, go, oh, go, okay. but, go. <laughs> no, 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 and, no, and I think right. also we need some um, go-to grime artists oh, for nice. the people to listen out for, because we're getting something from, you know, Okay, wh while you think on it, while you think on it, yeah. right. my man Kai is actually in a Stormzy <laughs> video clip. Oh, I yeah. kid you not. <laughs> it's not um, Shut Up, it's a different one. What, what one is it? Wicked Skangman 4. That's it, yeah. Freestyle, yeah. You see Kai <laughs> with his little hoodie on, yeah. his big chubby head just poking <laughs> his face around the corner. <laughs> He's not, I'm not wrong. Yeah. No he's, way. His boys know him. Yeah, is Go that right? check that out. Yeah, yeah, is that yeah, right? A, yeah, it was a pretty How, how long's the cameo for? Oh, it was uh, a couple good, good few minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, so it's just like a second and then you're out. No, no, that's where Storms, he just used to go to like, you know, like places in England yeah, and just yeah. sort of rap yeah, yeah. and, fr and um, sing his songs and then like you just have a whole All the game gangs around him yeah. doing it. Yeah, 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 gotcha. All the men them, I think. Yeah, there's a few good like professional photos as well. You can see them in the background. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to send them through or something. Um. Yeah. yeah, yeah, go to artist. Go to artist. So probably you can be, pick a couple. I was gonna say Stormzy. He's one. Um, old Stormzy, Graham Stormzy's yeah. pretty good. Um, Lil Baby, yeah, a US rapper. He's probably my favorite rapper anyway. So he'd be one of one of my go tos. And I don't know. There's this one song I used to always listen to. <laughs> What's that one in the gym? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can't talk about it. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about, about it. Sure. <laughs> 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 yeah, it'd be between them two. It'd be one of them sort of gram artists or like US rapper. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. yeah. What about live music, mate? Do you get around a bit of that? You, is there any festivals well, I mean, in England? He's, in, or he's been in a Stormzy video. Yeah, well, so that's pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably my biggest, uh, my biggest career appearance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, favorite sporting team outside of the NRL? Do you follow many other sports? Uh, I do a little bit. I'm not really mad invested in any any sport. Like for example, I'm from England. Soccer's huge, but I'm not yeah. really. You know, I don't really watch it religiously. I know Pricey does. He loves his you know, Man United. Yeah, he's a man new boy. Yeah, yeah. he's got me hooked on yeah, him as well. Glory Hunter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nah, it'd probably be like uh, NBA. I like the Lakers. Um, yeah, it'd probably be them. You're a bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the way it looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a nice colour, yeah, yeah, nice yeah. aesthetics, you know what I mean? And Dennis Rodman, he's like, you know, 
He's an old school player. Yeah. Just a tip of the cap. Jay loves his NBA. I do. Boston Celtics. Heavy Let's Celtics. Go. Big year, big year, big year, Heavy. big things. Um, Super Bowl or Olympic gold medal if you had the choice? Oh, Super Bowl. 100%. Yep. Yeah. Um, mm, Super Bowl. Yeah. Some for everyone. I know everyone watches the Olympics as well, but Super Bowl is huge. Yep. It's, you know, you've got celebrities there. You've got everything. The Super Bowl's literally got everything. And there's a little bit of controversy around uh, England's uh, tilt. In the Olympics Because then they turn into Great Britain Which mm. is multiple countries Yeah and It's the only event that they do So what you saying We're cheating Well look <laughs> <laughs> Us proud Australians Just one country Trying our yeah, best yeah. You know what I mean 25 million strong Yeah, yeah. trying to do <laughs> what we can best. And you guys are like Hey Ireland everyone Come on Come on in Come on Let's try and get this done <laughs> Wow Wow, wow. Um, <laughs> well, Last one mate Would you prefer to listen to An Aussie accent Or an English accent Probably an Aussie accent, you know. Can you tell the difference between like different Aussie accents? No, no, I, I, I can tell the difference between. Is it Bogan when someone's more? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. A bit, I can yeah, tell the difference between someone rougher. who's yeah, probably from the coast or someone who's you know like in a the far, country. Like a yeah, sort of, yeah, you can yeah, sort of tell yeah. that, but I can't tell you if someone was from Sydney or someone was from Brisbane or something. How like many that? times yeah. did you be near if, some, if someone said like a full sentence and you just have no idea what they just said? <sighs> yeah, like, too fast, all that sort of it stuff. It'd be the slang as well. It'd be yeah. probably be more towards when I first came over. There was a few mm. things, and I was just like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, true, true. Who, who's, who's the hardest to understand in the squad sometimes? Um, uh, probably, I don't know. I think the strongest accent, probably like Adam Elliott's is pretty strong, isn't it? I feel oh, like. yeah, Adam, really? Yeah. Sometimes he, he talks and I'm just a bit like, <laughs> oh, right. Probably like pronounces everything. I don't know how to explain it. He's proper, like, I don't know. Yeah. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Yeah, he says he's, yeah, he doesn't mumble, like, he says his words proper. Yeah, he does yeah, say proper, so it's yeah. not too hard to understand, I guess, but it's, when I think of, like, who's got the strongest sort of... I was going to say, Ads has a lot of velocity yeah, when he talks yeah. as well. He, like, yeah. really yeah. does this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> when he gets on a roll and he's storytelling, yeah, yeah. yeah, it can go. Yeah. I think we need to have uh, Ads come on and do a Kai Pierce Paul uh, impression now. Yeah. Let's, let's get that. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Oh, that was good, mate. There we go. We got to know Kai a little yeah, bit. Yeah, man. 100%. Family guy yeah i am legend and he's a storms and, and he's a family man too. He's a, yeah there yeah. you go yeah <laughs> how sense. was that when you um it was your younger was that your younger brother, that was my older brother. that was your older yeah, brother yeah, and your yeah. mum yeah. surprised you for your debut how was it yeah it was um yeah i, I can't really put it into words really it was i got surprised here after training yep uh, i think it was after captain's run or no the day before sorry uh Addy came up to me um, and was like, oh yeah, you got to sign something for the NRL so you can play. Duh, duh, duh. I'm like mid ping pong. I'm like, oh, I've got to do it now. He went, yeah, come on. <laughs> so I'm in the strop. I'm walking down the corner. <laughs> no, I was beating Will as well. I was on the roll. So. And uh, I get to obviously his, his office, and I'm like looking down at the floor. I'm not even looking up. I'm just like, how old does he want? And I look up. I'm like, oh, I'm uh, just there, like smiling. I was like, oh my god. And it was just, yeah, I just, yeah, it was a mad moment. Um, yeah, family means the world to me. It's just one of my sort of. Things in life which I keep really close to me, yep. and I, I mean, I really value. So you know, even for the nights to fly them out and yep. let that be, you know, that special occasion was, you know, really nice for me. And, and uh, yeah, you have another brother that couldn't make it. Yeah, was yeah. that because he he playing Union? Is that what you? Yeah, told he's, he's mid season. Yeah, uh, with, with Robbie Union, so it's uh, it's a bit of a tricky one. But yeah, I got a younger brother who's bigger than bigger me than you. So yeah, <laughs> he's, he's absolutely huge. Yeah. So the oldest brother, he's the smallest out of yeah, a lot of you. <laughs> smallest, he's still six two. And that's yeah, I know. Yeah, that's yeah, small yeah, to me. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was good, mate. Well, speak us a bit through the debut. I know we touched on it a little bit earlier, but. I mean, like, what were the emotions when you got told it, it happened very quick? You know, round one from yeah. coming over here. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah, from being told, it sort of it didn't feel real yet. Um, you know, it's being told something and then actually being in the field is a whole different feeling. So, so the days leading up, I was sort of talking about people and. Yep. Fucking, oh, sorry, I saw. That's, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be on. You know, I'm gonna play my NRL debut. It's that sort of a lifetime dream, and it was only really when I was in that change room before where. It sort of hit me. Yep. Um, and I was sort of sat there and was like, you know, a bit nervous, like, yeah. you know, as you would be. And I was a bit like, Jesus, this is really about to happen. And then, you know, obviously I came off the bench, second half. And once I was on it, it sort of felt pretty natural. Um, I don't really get too nervous on field, sort of, you know, the build up. And then when you're on in your first involvement, you sort of forget about it. But yeah, no, it was an unreal debut. The, the, the atmosphere was amazing. You know, it was just a huge crowd. And yeah, it just couldn't have really been any better for me. Obviously, <coughs> A win would have been a lot better, but yeah. in terms of you know personally and my feeling and 
you know, the, having my family there in the crowd just was amazing for me. Um, look, we're going to go back uh, talking about sort of your, your origins in England and stuff like that. But before we go there, I wanted to ask, like, mm. you know, you come out on the second half, it's your first game in the NRL, you know, you get your first hit up or, you know, you get the ball for the first time. What's going through your head? Are you just trying to not drop it or, yeah, you know, just, just... To be honest, yeah. yeah. <laughs> some, of the, some of them ones there just... For me, a thing is sort of your first involvement, just make it a good one, and then yep. it will sort of feel quite natural and you'll sort of roll into it from there. So I didn't want to try to do anything too crazy or, you know, just carry the ball. You, you run hard, you can't yep. really go wrong. So that was sort of the main thing for me. But, you know, prior to that, I'd been tackling and stuff. So it, yeah, was, yeah. I was already, you're already, already, kind of in, already it. in the game. Yeah, here, yeah. So. Unreal. So uh, obviously you grew up in England. Um, there are a lot of major sports in the UK, as you said before. Soccer's probably the biggest one. There's cricket. There's a whole bunch. Mm. Rugby league's kind of not the premier sport over where you're from. W what sparked your interest in the game? What? Why did you go down that route? Well, it was always rugby in general. I played rugby league and rugby union from, I don't know, maybe the age of seven or eight, six, seven or eight. I can't remember how young I was. But for me, it was my older brother. He started first. So he's four years older than me. And... Yep. Um, he sort of like was like my sort of male role model in life. Yep. You know, my dad wasn't really in the picture, so it was always like I'd look up to my big brother Cam, and he would look after us boys. You know, him and Mum would look after us sometimes, and yeah, it was sort of so I was sort of following him, and I used to watch his games and really enjoy it, and be like, oh, I want to be like Cam one day. Do you know what I mean? So that's yeah. that's what it was for me. And um, obviously, rugby league's not very big down south at all. You got sort of I think that's maybe four or five teams in in our league. Mm. It was like one age group, I think, or something. It was like an open age almost, like for young kids. It was like there was no wonder. Well, it was under 13s, so, you know, it was like it was just whoever wasn't yeah. very big, you know, you wouldn't know you're playing each week because sort of like a five team pool and it wasn't very organized. It wasn't, you know, it was a bit sort of you'd rock up in the park and just play sometimes. Yep. So it was, um, rugby league's not as big, rugby union as clubs, you know, every every next row does a new club and you know, there's obviously a lot bigger leagues and there's a lot more organized in rugby union as well. So I played both until the age of 18. Um, I was part of like the London Broncos Academy system, went for their scholarship as well, which is like under 16s, and I guess it came to an age where. I had to make a decision whether it was league or union and um i just i chose league i think at this point wigan had come in i played against wigan academy and they'd come in and um throw me an offer and you know it was i was scared at the time obviously i was 18 i just sort of hadn't really been away from home before for you know more than sort of two weeks on like a holiday or something so um the operation uh, operation the um the opportunity sort of arose to to make the move to wigan and you know mum was full behind it and said yeah, just go for it you know you yeah. can't, can't really go wrong so you know i took the leap for wigan and and sort of the rest was history, but it was legal union. And I chose league. I thought league suited me better. Yeah, um, a bit of a faster game, and you know you can sort of, as a forward especially, you can sort of show off a bit more. Did the interest from Wigan help you make that decision? Like, did it help you choose between union and league? I guess so. Yeah, yeah. I, I, would, I would say you so. know because Wigan's a very yeah, it's a very esteemed high, club. Yeah, 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 in the Super League, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, I guess. I preferred league anyway. I think at the time I was obviously part of the academy and it was going pretty well. And our academy side was pretty strong as well, and it was you know I was feeling good playing there. So, but yeah, obviously when you got a team like Wigan in, uh, in England, you know such a high yeah, it's a high uh, valued club, yeah, in it's huge yeah. history, and it's just you know it's a known it's a known team. So it was sort of for me it was a no brainer at the time. It was sort of a great opportunity for me. And it yeah, sort of and then you made your debut. Do we want to talk about that? Because yeah. <laughs> every guest, so, just so you know, every guest we have on this show, their was, debut, they get pumped. Mine was so. four four four. It was and great yeah we won uh 100 nil <laughs> <laughs> oh debut oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah mate nah. it was a fair team years verse i was looking yeah. at the list before alex yeah. Wormsley, james graham yeah. johnny lomax it, it was a strong side it was jack wellsby it was actually so we have like the challenge cup obviously which is like a separate competition yep. in england and it's it like runs a comp in a comp yeah, yeah it runs in sort of during the season as yep. well it'd be like you know you'd play league 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 game then it'd be like challenge cup so some team people would have a, a week off for the teams that aren't still in it kind of thing so I think what our coach wanted to do was rest our sort of more, well, our more starting players at the time and, and play a sort of a younger side. But Saints were like, no, we ain't doing that. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so I remember uh, me and a few of the boys, I think I debuted with like six or seven other people. Like yeah, all, right. all the sort of like the young boys and like the, we used to call it Binju, like the Binju squad. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. We're, we're all like just, yeah, we're making our debut buzzing. And I remember we sat in uh, this like, um, this uh, cafe and the, the, the team list drops and we're sat there like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> just scrolling down and we're like, bro, like, what is going on? It's like the full Saints squad. I'm seeing Alex Wormsley and now I'm just thinking, oh my God, <laughs> what is going to happen here? And yeah, you know what? We, we went all right to be fair at, to start with anyway. Yeah. It was a decent arm wrestle for a bit, but then, you know, experience takes over and mm. they ended up pumping us in the end. Because that same team ended up winning, what, th four in a row, wasn't it? I think it was four, yeah. St. Helens, yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah they had Lockie Coote, where's Nagama? Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. yeah they, they had a stack side. Yeah. 
they ended up playing in that grand final in the end, which was yeah, yeah. eventually against. Was that against Wigan? Were they in twenty twenty? Oh, twenty nine. Oh, twenty no, twenty. Oh, it's twenty twenty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And they and they won on the Wigan bell, which was on one the of the, the craziest finishes to a grand final you'll ever see. They go for a drop goal, hits the post, bounces up, and yeah, Jack, Jack Wellsby, Jack yeah, puts it down just before the just before Bev could, and yeah, that yeah. was that was heartbreaking. I was, yeah. I was up in the crowd somewhere looking on, and then it was yeah, that was a pretty sad time. I think Jacko was playing in that game. Jacko would have been, yeah, yeah Jacko yeah, would have been. That was a uh, yeah, heartbreaking for us, really. But you know, four years later, we got one anyway. Exactly. We got well, there in the end. Well, we can fast forward there, but we could talk about all the stuff in the middle. You played sixty-one mm. games for Wigan. Yeah. Um, over four years, and and then it finished with a grand final win. You were very young when you were playing. What like? What's it like being a young forward coming through the ranks in the Super League? Because I know what it's like for myself personally. But what was it like for your experience? Yeah, I mean, it was obviously pretty pretty scary. I feel like this in Super League, there's quite a few younger boys that. Yep. Managed to sort of make their way in Sort of when injuries come in um, They like to sort of bring through The, the talent of the, the club Instead of you know Trying to get people from elsewhere So There was a few boys For example Pricey was the same year as me When Pricey mm -hmm. his, his breakthrough year Was the um, same year as my year So there was a few sort of Young young boys That were making their, their debut And sort of finding their feet In that year But for me I was sort of I was quite lucky to be In quite an experienced team um, On my edge I think I had my, Tommy Lulawai was my halfback oh, And you know yeah, wow. Willie Ice was my centre And Zach Hardacre on the wing You oh, know yeah. just, they sort of looked after me in a way, you know, Tommy was, I don't even have to look after, he looked after me, you know, I'm meant to be yeah. chasing, the, you know, checking the lead and getting, yeah, yeah, he yeah, said, yeah. forget about that, he said, if the lead runs <laughs> at me, I've got him, and then, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, I had one role really at that time, so, you know, Tommy looked after me and those boys are, yeah, you know, they're crazy good, crazy guys as well, and obviously it really helped out having players like that around me to sort of guide me in the right in the right way and um, a good squad around me as well. So. Yeah. Did you get a chance to celebrate the grand final? It felt like you won and then... Yeah. You know, a couple of weeks and then you're Dixon Park having a coffee with Will and we're doing the press conferences and all that sort of stuff. Like, I know, yeah. must have been a whirlwind time for you, mate. Yeah, it was It was quite a lot at, at, at a single time. I think I sort of, after the grand final, it sort of became a bit real. I was, I was leaving, obviously, as well. And I think I maybe got, I think I maybe had 26 tickets that game. So I had a yeah. lot of friends yeah. and family up and we all went out after into like Manchester and had a good night out. And then, you know, then obviously the boys went off to Dublin and we all sort of, you know, it was a good sort of couple of days slash week of like fun. And then yeah. when it died down and I was sat there like, oh my God, I'm literally leaving in like, I think it was maybe a week and a half from that point yeah, or something. Wow. Um, and I think I went back down to London with my family and stuff for, for the majority of the time. And my friends came and surprised me in London. Then they surprised me up North as well. Like it was just, it was a really nice way to go. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I had a good sort of group of friends and family around me to send me off in the right way. But yeah, next minute I'm on a, you know, a twenty-four hour flight, yeah. sipping cocktails of pricey in, <laughs> <laughs> in, in the business, in the business lounge. You said that was a fair trip, that. Oh, it was. Yeah, we were, we were steaming. <laughs> yeah. Can steaming. you tell? Can you tell me a bit about the GF lad? Because Cat Catalan, they had a lot riding on it. They had Sam Tompkins, Mitchell mm. Pierce, like two greats yeah, of the game yeah. in their both own respects. Like mm. Sam more in the Super League, Mitchell obviously more in the NRL, but. There was a lot riding on it. It was a low-scoring affair. Uh, I just watched mm. the highlights before, and you know, you guys took a penalty goal early, and then they did. Then you guys scored the only try of the game. Then you just took one more penalty goal towards the end. It, it, like it would have been a lot of back and forth. Were yeah. Cat Catlins were the favourites? Uh, were you guys the favourites? I think I think you might have been pretty in 50, 50. Yeah, I think we were sort of twelve games on the bounce win. Yep, yep. We hadn't won. We hadn't lost in quite a long time. So I think we were sore favourites, and Catlin yep. haven't won it before. Yeah, okay. So it was sort of. Uh, Will history repeat itself Or will it be broken yeah. By Catalan So Yeah 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 it was um, Yeah Catalans were, were a good side You know they were sort of One of the top three Top four sides Of that, of that mm. season And and so are we So And you know In a grand final The intensity is just a, a different level To what you're used to On a you know the, like, the time before we played Catalans They were sort of unbeaten For a while And we went over there You know Which is a pretty hostile ground yeah, And we ended up beating them 34-0 I think Which was like a bit of a shock And I think that's when We started our sort of run To the end of the season To the grand final And then you know To face Catalans again Having gone to their place And you know pretty Embarrass them a little bit And then you know All the things are sort of Adding up And it was Tompkins last game Yeah after Pierce's all those last years, game Pierce's yeah, last game yeah. there's, there's a lot in it for everyone yeah. Do you know what I mean I think they had Sort of a lot more in it Than us in terms of Players they're losing And stuff And you know People going out And putting them out In the right way Kind of thing So yeah It was it was a pretty mad feeling Um I think it was at Man United Stadium. Yeah. Old, stadium. Uh, old Trafford. <laughs> yeah. Is that Old Trafford? Yeah, 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 yeah it was yeah, Old Trafford. Yeah. I think your yeah. stadium. <laughs> yeah, my stadium. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think it sold maybe sixty something thousand yeah. or sixty five thousand. I think it was. So that was that was pretty surreal as well. It was it was a crazy atmosphere and it was just a massive arm wrestle. It was just constantly forwards and backs and who's going to crack first kind of thing and. Yeah, in the end, um, you know, we ended up, I think it was the second half as well, we ended up right. breaking through and 
and getting the only try of the game. And it was a decent try too. I watched it before. Oh, it was yeah. offload galore. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a pretty off the cuff stand up kind of yeah. kind of game. And I saw his kind of try, and we, we got the win in the end. We sort of held it out. What's it like when you? Because one of the great things they do in the Super League is when you guys play the grand final, you walk out side by side. Mm. What's that like? That, that just looks that so, is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. It's so yeah, yeah. so sick. Yeah, it's it sort of adds to that. You know, you're, you're playing next the to yourself. The emotion of it. Yeah, yeah the emotion yeah, of it. Yeah. You got your, you know, you're, you're about to smash the person next to you in about yeah. five minutes' time. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. You don't want to look at them. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's a bit awkward because some of them you know as well. Like, I might be a good friend or yeah. something. You don't yeah. want to look because then you don't want to smile because then you're out of the zone kind of things. Do so they do just, it every game or just the grand final? Uh, they do it most games, yeah. yeah. yeah so, is it, have you ever walk next to someone that's like super intimidating yeah. and you don't want to know them to know that you're like a bit oh I don't yeah. know about this you know what there's oh, this guy um, you probably know Manu Mao Manu Mao I was just about to say come off the bench for <laughs> Catalans didn't he yeah he's um he's a scary dude scary guy yeah he <laughs> used yeah. to play for power over here yeah. yeah I know do you know when when I was sort of one of my first few games I think when I played um, he was at Hull FC for a couple of years yeah, in, right. the, in the Super League and I remember coming off uh, I think I came off the bench this time as well and I was opposite this Manu Mao guy, you know, before this I'd sort of, you know, I've been pretty chill, I was just sort of opposite this Manu Mao guy and he's just staring at me, like, <laughs> like looking at me, like, pointing at me going, yeah, give me the ball, I want him, I want him. I looked at Tommy, I was like, what is this, bro? I'm like, what have I signed up to? I, I don't want to do this anymore. So, yeah, I think that's actually one of the only times I've actually sort of been like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. This guy is apparently some crazy dude as well, so I'm just like, what the hell? But yeah, no, he, he was a really nice dude to fair off-field, you know, he's, yeah. he was a really nice guy. And But yeah, he came off the bench for, for Catalans as well, and I think that might have been his last game for Catalans. Was he still there? I'm not too it sure. It could have been, yeah, it could have been. Maybe, yeah, but no. Nah, um, what about um? What about your debut for England? Tough game that one. Oh yeah. Was it ninety four? Ninety four four against Greece. Yeah. Yeah. It, it took us a while to get into it. <laughs> 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 I had to build the pressure and build the game. You know. Just, nah, yeah, tell us, no, in, in all seriousness, tell us about like the the esteem for getting to represent your country. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, yeah, again, I had about thirty people there watching me as well. Yeah. And I got. It was actually um, the game was actually in wasn't in it was sort of a bit closer to, to London than it was the north but I had a lot of family watching and to make my England debut in such a, a great World Cup run as well was was just amazing um, yeah it was it was one of those feelings again it didn't feel real until I was there singing the national anthem I was sort of on the field looking up and I saw my mum and I was like oh my god this is actually happening kind yeah. of thing and yeah obviously to win 96 wherever it was is, is always it's always a good one. Yeah. We were going for 100 in the end. We got written <laughs> yeah. off for the forward pass right at the end. Oh, oh no. Yeah, the boys were gutted. <laughs> so, uh, weren't happy leaving there. But, uh, <laughs> uh, it, was, it was a mad feeling. It was um, something I remember forever and you know, hopefully more to come, really. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, so fast forward now to the NRL. Now, I don't. the listeners won't know, but obviously you guys know this. Um, we did a thing where we added in our um, cultural heritage to our locker panels in the <laughs> COE this year. Yeah. So everyone has like different flags and things of their cultural heritage. So, you know, just to have a bit more of a connection to that uh, in their locker panel in the, in the change rooms there. Now, round three gets a storm. He's multicultural round. Now, Kai particularly has... A lot of flags on yeah, his you have a few. <laughs> locker panel. So, mate, explain to the people what your what your multicultural sort of heritage background is. Yeah, so I'm English. Yep. Um, I'm from two different islands in the Caribbean, so Antigua and Saint Vincent. Yep. Um, I'm Faroese, which is a few little islands by Denmark slash Norway. It's called, they're called the Faroe Islands. My mum's dad was from there. Yep. Um, and I'm French. My mum's mum is French, so there you go. A bit of Bit of yeah, a bit of this, a bit of that. So, how many yeah. flags are actually on your locker panel? The boys are sort of grilling me for yeah. it. Like, like, everyone's going around. You got one or two flags, yeah. 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 and then they get to mine. We're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, right. I, just, I got asked. You got, yeah. I got asked where you're from. Got ten yeah. parents. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 mate, that's good. I, I was just going to ask quickly about the NRL. Like, what? How how is that viewed back in England? Yeah, I mean, like, were you, would you sit up and watch the NRL and yeah. stuff? I remember yeah. talking to Will Price and he was saying, like, a state of origins, he would always have Wednesdays off school yeah. so that he could watch the... Was yeah, it similar for you? I think he'd have days off school, not because he had days off school, but because <laughs> his dad was, like, a super... Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he'd want to yeah. watch it all, but, um, yeah, no, NRL sort of deemed as a, you know, the, sort of the biggest league, really. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of the boys, even at Caden, my brother's team, uh, at Saracens, a lot of the sort of rugby union boys will be watching NRL and stuff as well. Oh, so. really? Yeah, they've all got their fantasy teams and stuff. So yeah. um, my little brother was telling me the, the other day that they they proper like NRL and it's sort of, it's an entertaining league to watch. Yep. Obviously, so Super League as well, but the NRL sort of, especially where there's players 
Premier Rugby Union all, from all over the place, from like, you know, sort of these sort of countries, yep. Tonga, Samoa, them kind of yep. countries as well. They'll sort of know players playing for the NRL, you know, from back home. So they sort of tap in and watch a lot of that. And yeah, obviously it's at like awkward times. Yeah. It might be like sort of seven, six, nine, uh, seven, eight in the morning sometimes, but I'd always get up and watch it. You yep. know, it's, it's entertaining. And I guess for me, it was something I always wanted to, to give a crack. So I was sort have, of have you adopted him into the proud New South Welshman? Circle. Oh, he's a blue. Yeah, he's, he's a, a blue. Yeah, yeah. Surely you're a blue. I bleed, I bleed blue. I yeah, that's my, day. that's our guy. That's our guy. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you've got to get in there before the others get. Was in there was the there anyone <laughs> um, you used to watch in the NRL that you sort of modelled your game <coughs> after by? Well, I wouldn't say I modelled my game after, but it's very hard because you're you're a very different body. A bit awkward, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. very yeah. very long, <laughs> just lanky and just yeah, very yeah. very hard to get hold of. Uh, people, I'm not really sort of your average build for a sort of footy player you know I'm a bit sort of an awkward long thing <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's the quote fellas yeah, yeah, yeah. awkward been, long thing I've been called the baby draft before other <laughs> yeah. commentators in Super League and stuff so like you know I'm a bit, a bit all over the place but yeah one person that I sort of grew up watching and really liked was a lot was Sonny Bill yeah I knew you were going to say that I get told it all the time you know Sonny Bill but yeah I really just enjoyed watching him I thought his his style of play and even as a person off the field he's just a real cool guy so it's yeah. I've always sort of Say looked up to, and I wouldn't say I model my game off him. Um, you know, I've got everyone. There got are a lot of similarities. Everyone's got their own different yeah. roots, yeah. but obviously, you know, he likes to offload. I like to offload, yeah. so that was like sort of that's why the similarities got got put on me. But yeah, yeah no, I've, I really enjoyed watching Sunday Bill. Um, just got one more question before we take a quick break. You've come over here with your fellow countryman Will Price. Now we know Will. We've met Will. We've been around Will the last <laughs> few months, oh, mate. Yeah. I have been around Will. <laughs> Doesn't leave my house. <laughs> Fair dinkum. <laughs> How has it? Been good having someone like Will with you um, through that transition over here to the NRL. And can you give us a story of how you guys met initially and sort of how that relationship started? Because it was before you guys obviously came over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I guess it, I guess it did help uh, having someone else in the same position as me. Um, for me, the transition wasn't too hard because I'd, I've been living away from home for sort of four years anyway. Yeah. And sort of towards the end of that sort of four years, there'd been times I'd been away from home for maybe six, five, six months and hadn't been, you know, to see my family, for example. Or they, yep. You know, they come up to watch my games and I'd yeah, see them yeah. after the match, but I hadn't actually been home in a very long time. So the transition wasn't too different for me. You know, I saw my mum the other day and that was only about three months. So that was nothing compared to what I've done before in terms yeah. of when I was living up north. So i say it wasn't too hard for me, but I think for Price, it probably helped a bit as well, having someone else in the same boat, you know, even at the airport, he, knowing Price, he'd miss his flight or something. So, I'm, <laughs> you know, it probably helped to have someone there guiding him to, to, <laughs> to the right plane and, uh, <laughs> and that sort of stuff. But yeah, no, he's, he, you know, you've you got to love Price. He, he's not an, an awkward bloke, is he? he nah, in, nah. Everyone loves nah. him. He settles in anywhere pretty well. So, yeah. um, you know, he'd always be, he'd always be a right in any situation you threw him in, to be honest. And in terms of meeting him, I think in my... It was in our sort of similar debut year. I think we just sort of followed each other. We're both sort of young, young sort of stars at the time coming through. So it was uh, through there. But then end of that season, our first year, we had England Knights, which was like our England second team. Kind yeah, of. It's, like, yep. it's more like the younger boys, the young stars um, play a game instead of the older boys. And yeah. I met him on camp there. Yep. That's when I found out how loud he was. <laughs> <laughs> and I found out a lot about him. And, you know, he's just crazy. It'd be like... You know, we have a tough session. We'd be on the coach. Everyone's just, you know, sort of sleeping. They'd be yeah. pricey. They'd be like, <laughs> everyone's turning around like, pricey, please. <laughs> He's like well, that at our camp well, on bro, Temo. Just, like, trying to lift the energy. We're like, bro, we just train hard. Like, how have you got energy? That's what I want to know. <laughs> but yeah, I guess at Tamworth, it's the same thing. You know, he's one of them guys, you just... If you're ever feeling down, you lift your energy. You know, if, yeah. if the if the you know the vibes ever off at training, he'd be the guy just to lift it back up again. Yeah, definitely. Crazy. So, you know, he's a cool guy to have around. Yeah, no, nah, he's uh, he's one of the greats, and he's um, <laughs> what what's it'll the be, word? Be he's, just, he's one of the family already. You yeah, know, he'll be coming up soon. <laughs> yeah, 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 one hundred percent, mate. Thanks so much for coming in. We've learned a lot about you. There's a lot of things that people may not have known, and now they know. Yeah. Family man, family guy. What was the last one that we said? Stormzy. 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 Bang. Stormzy Remember video. Stormzy. Remember Stormzy. <laughs> Thanks for coming <laughs> on, my mate. And uh, let's let's go win something this year, eh? Yeah, sweet. Really enjoyed it. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you. Um, look, guys, you can leave a review on any of the platforms that you get your podcast from. Also, follow the Knights on all the social media platforms at NRL Knights. Also, all of these episodes are up on YouTube. So, full episodes, full video episodes. So, give us a like, subscribe, hit those bells so you get notifications when we put up a new one. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Sweet. Cheers.